What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So I don't know if a lot of you have seen it earlier, but I wanted to recap what actually happened on the 63060 RebTech motherboard fan hack. So let's get into my Hive OS. This right here, right now I have this running on LOL Miner version 1.29 and they're getting roughly around 37 mega hash 36 37 which is pretty decent it's a 75 percent unlock which is cool so apparently you can get 50 mega hash with this new fan hack after mining ergo so of course first thing you need to do is get in here set up a flight sheet for ergo i don't have an ergo wallet so my boy rondi set me up a wallet um, we're using Nanopool and then NB Miner. So we're gonna click Setup Miner Config. Down here I used version 37.3. That was the info I got from somebody in the live chat when we were doing this because I was being the test subject for everybody else. So that's what we did. 37.3, then obviously that flight sheet was done. So now let's go back to the overview. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys how to get one of these cards on the hack. So now I'm gonna manually shut down this rig and we're gonna make some changes to get one of these cards manually working. All right, rig's off. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna unplug all of these cards except for one. We'll try to go over the overclocks and do it together. So let's see what happens. All right, so what I'm going to do now is select the Ergo Miner flight sheet and I'm going to apply it. I have disconnected five out of six of these, so there should only be one registering, which there is. So that's great. Okay. Now, now let's put in some overclocks. So now what we're gonna do is click on the IP. Gonna type in user, enter, one, enter. When you hit one, you're not gonna be able to see that line item. It's gonna be invisible, so just press one, hit enter. Then type in minor and enter. All right, so error failure. You can see this, this is okay. It's restarting the minor, no big deal. All right, so now look at this. See that zero? on the fan is registering like that. Now you're gonna come here and look at your hive and look at that, 0%. Now what we do is leave this stuff exactly the same. Go to your flight sheet, go back to your G miner that you were using for Ethereum and just transition the rig right to it. Just change the flight sheet. We don't need to be in this anymore once this ramps up, we'll go into Ethermine and we'll check it there. Or we don't even have to. You switch the rig and bang, 51 mega hash. Simple as that. Um, using G Miner 2.54 in Ethereum on Ethermine. That's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to show you, that's how you do it. All right, so that ended up being a little unstable and the Ethereum mining crashed. Shortly after it got started, we didn't get an accepted share, so I just started Ergo Miner over, and I have the same clocks in there. I'm basically waiting for it to give an error, and then for this fan that's 92 to go to zero. So let's go back to Hive, show you guys. Still the same clocks. I just wanna see. It's kinda strange why it hasn't crashed yet, but it crashed so soon the last time. Um, and this might take some time doing this hack. When you have these settings, you need to let the miner, which is this situation right here, to absorb all the information you just put in Hive OS, and you need to give it time for it to glitch out, more or less. So you saw how it happened super fast the last time, and now you know it's been five minutes and it hasn't happened yet. So in this case, we have to up the clocks. I'm just gonna up it by 20 on the memory. I'm going to see what happens. All right, there we go. Failure. That's what we want. 
So now we're gonna go back here, gonna refresh, and just wait, because this is gonna disappear basically. And then hopefully, if it worked right, it comes back and that fan that you have at 100, right here that's at 92 right now, will say zero. So NV minor started over, it's doing its thing. You can actually see the zero from uh, inside this as well, right here, bang. Fan zero. So now let's go back to Hive. Refresh. Oh, there it is. Didn't even need to refresh. Perfect. So now what we'll do is flight sheet directly to G minor once again. Apply. So now we have it at 3270 instead of 3250 like we just had right before this. Now I'm gonna X this out because we're obviously not on that algorithm anymore. Now we're in Ethermine, I'm gonna click on the IP. Gonna type in user, again, one, and then minor. Okay, so now what you wanna do, obviously you're looking for the hash rate again to be over 50. On top of that, you need to make sure this accepts a share. So right here. 51.16 mega hash within the algorithm. Perfect. That's what you want to see. Shares, zero, zero, zero. Okay. You want to wait for a share, which will be this number right here. The first zero will change. Once you get an accepted share, you know the rig's at least somewhat stable, and you're just going to have to monitor it and see what happens. But that's how you do the hack. That's pretty much the gist of it. All right. There we have it. So. Seven minutes in, we got the first share accepted. And now it's saying share number two, shortly after. So apparently it needed to break through some sort of wall to get working properly, but we already have two shares within that minute. So as you guys can see, the 51.16 mega hash is reading correctly and it's working. We got two accepted shares. Took a little bit of time to get the first two, but hopefully it'll start cranking them out now. We came to an error on GPU zero. Device not responding, check overclock settings. I'm not sure long-term how stable this actually is, this hack. I did this for educational purposes. I will be making an update video, hopefully getting all six of these working on my RevTech motherboard, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Just before I end the video, huge shout out to this guy, Adam R. Please don't forget to go over and subscribe to him because he's the one that brought this to us. He must have stumbled upon it somehow, some way. But either way, he brought it to us. So that's huge. He's already got 11,000 views on the video. Good for you, man. You deserve it. Totally not trying to take any traffic from you. Just wanted to uh, get this out to my community as well. Adam R, thank you so much. You earned my subscription, sir. As always, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.